Yeah, yeah. All of them ain't going on stage. Shout out to the people over there. But 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 Mr. Crowder, we still ain't get to it. Yo, how did this shit all begin for you for you to become the man you are today? And I'm mm. t- I'm telling you, take me back to you know what was it like with mom, dad? What was your upbringing like to make the man that you yeah. are today? Mm. Ooh, um, I think it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of wild. Like I always say, God has a sense of humor because of all the the the, the foolishness I went through growing up and what kind of made me, you know, because. Everybody sees me now, and it's like, you know, this dude is wild. Like, he just says whatever. Like you said, you say whatever the hell you want to. You're wild. But it's kind of like I got I got taught this through life. And the 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 pivotal point, we always ask what the biggest pivot is, a pivot in life. Hey, and my wife calls it the villain story. Y'all know what that is? Mm-hmm. Like, the story that created the Joker, the yeah. story that created the yeah. Penguin. And, um... The thing that made, I think the thing that made me the way I am now, like honestly, genuinely not to give a fuck about what anybody thinks and like mm. talking and like, oh, you said this, bitch, you were listening. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, really yeah. to feel that way. Like, and, yeah, I mean it. I, I don't know. I don't know what you, I don't know what you said last night, but you're concerned with what I said last night. You know, like that thought was one of the times I was in, uh, what's it? Actually, we talked about the arrest story, and I ended up breaking a dude's jaw, and I <laughs> knocked him unconscious. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Gone. It's so funny when you just say stuff yeah, so yeah, natural. Yeah. But I broke the dude's jaw, knocked him unconscious. He had he had he had to wire his jaw up, but then I picked him up and put him in a to the wire. <laughs> I picked him up and put him in a trash can and closed it. <laughs> <laughs> like a Ninja Turtle or something, like like a real. Yeah. <laughs> and as a Taking four as a forty year old to tell the story, like it kind of like I I kind of look at the ground and shake my head. But at the time, it's like damn. So I had not to do that. He was actually about to hit OJ Small, who was the receiver on the team. I saw him run across the parking lot. And I saw the intersection point. And Picked I was him like, up. He, look, he was on the field. X is a no. We just had Steven Jackson up here. Now you pull the Steven Jackson. I, I like that. I'm going to catch Let him. Me get it. You know what I mean? You see that? He's Dink. defending his teammate. There you go. OJ yes. Small. He comes in the chain of crowd in the building right here. You know I mean? Juice. You know he is. OJ know the story. Yeah. I talked to OJ about it. But anyway, so we do that. So I'm, If it was uh, the other Joe, he would, or OJ, he would have, you know. Uh, Stop that. I actually got an O.J. Simpson story. Okay, but go go with okay. that. Then we got to get to the O.J. So we, <laughs> we ain't leaving O.J. Simpson. Yeah, we, we right so, there. So, so anyway, so long story. So I get in trouble, and I'm back out, you know, going to class. And, like, I'm not even, not bragging, but, like, I'm I'm a good student. Like, I was a National Legion of Scholar, National Legion of Honor in high school. Hey. I went to a math and science uh, magnet school in high school, North Springs, where Usher and uh, Raven Simone and all them went. Like, mm. I, the school wasn't hard for me, so I'm an educated yeah. person. Yeah. And so I, I go, I get locked up one of them times. It might have been first or second time. So I don't know if it's a story I told you earlier, but one of those times I got locked up, and I get out, and they have something called the alligator, which is the games, the 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 campus, the campus, you know, um, the stu- the student newspaper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I read that, and then I read the Orlando Sentinel. And I don't even read the paper, but I just got locked up as an All-American. I'm like, I know they're talking about it, so I want to mm-hmm. – I want this, this is actually this is actually when I used to care about people's thoughts of me. Right. So I would read newspapers. So I read the Alligator. They just told the story. And it was actually Jeff Darlington, who's NFL now. Uh-huh. That's my ace. That's my homeboy. Okay. Like, yeah, he, I went to his wedding. He came to my wedding nice. and stuff. So he was kind of he he kind of like he kind of whenever I got in trouble in the Gainesville he was my age so he would kind of write a nice story about me but I read the Orlando Sentinel and this is the villain story mm. <laughs> so I I'm reading them and they're they're telling the story you know Channing Crowder gets arrested on Saturday night for you know whatever uh, you know uh, disturbing the peace and a, a, a battery whatever assault mm. battery whatever it was they were like they should lock him in a cage and let him out on Saturdays to play. Damn. And I first of all, (laughs) and that was like the in line. Yeah, and I was like, these people are painting me as like a monster, literally like an animal, like an animal. And that's where my mind, like my mind of caring about other people's thoughts of me, really changed. So that, like, that's my wife. She always called like the villain Mm. story. That's where I sat back, and I remember I was at ninety five. It's called the Springs. It's still the athlete stadium to this day in Gainesville. 
And I remember sitting back on my bed, and I'm like, oh, these grown people, these educated, mm -hmm. successful, opinionated, uh, respected people are trying to paint me like an animal. Y'all want an animal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I got you. Yeah, watch got this. And that's yeah. where it turned. Watch this. But the, so that's kind of what set that up and what set up what people know. But yeah, man, growing up, um, grew up in Tampa. My dad played ball. Okay. So my dad uh, play, got drafted for the Dolphins. Actually, me and my father both got drafted to the Dolphins. Tough. And uh, he got was drafted. That, was that intentional for you? Was that like? No, man. I thought I was going to get drafted to the to the Mel Kuyper's lying ass. <laughs> told me I was going to get drafted number 20 to the Packers or number 32 to the Patriots. So I was going first round. Right. And that's why I got What him. year was it that you were drafted? This is 05. Okay, so you would have had some good teams over there. Yeah, so yeah. the Patriots, that's why the Patriots had a 30-second pick because they just won the Super Bowl yeah. 04, and I was 05 draft. So then they they had a 30-second pick, neighbor had many backers. So I was, like I said, it was me, who, Lofa Tupu, Odell Thurman, uh, Demarcus Ware, like we had, we had a hell of a little linebacking crew coming out that year. All of us are all Americans, so I was supposed to go first round, but then all the arrests that we've talked about, mm. re you know, we talked about through this interview, and then all my knee injuries and stuff. So that's why I dropped to the third round, and then got drafted to the Dolphins. But it wasn't intentional. Yeah. Nick Saban just got the Dolphins job. He was at LSU in '04, and they won a national championship, but they were twelve and one. We went up there. The Gators went up there in 04 to Death Valley at yeah. night and wore their ass yeah. out. And I balled out. I had like 16 tackles, a sack. Hey. I was tearing their ass up. So then yeah, he Nick even told like, me playing against after, his ass, after yeah. they drafted me, he told me he was like, I drafted you because of the game that you played in Death Valley that year. Uh, and then so, yeah, me and my dad got drafted. I mean, me and my dad got drafted to the Dolphins. But, yeah, my dad played ball, um, had a good life till I was like nine. Mom and dad got divorced, living a good life. Me too. Then when they got divorced, and moved to Atlanta. Nine years old, I was just old enough to kind of know what was going on. And then, enough for it to affect me. Then dad ain't around no more. Right. Yeah. And, and, then, and then you yep. start figuring shit out on your own the hard way. And that's what happened. Mom did a great job. She was, she was from Detroit, so she got a little edge to her. So I actually get my, my like, edge and my, my I, you know, I fight. Street like smarts. Ass whooping. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My ass whooping uh, <laughs> gene uh, from yeah. my mom, <laughs> and uh, so she got a little edge. And yeah, man, just it's it's really the story, you know. You got to grow up, you got to figure it out your own, got to figure it out yeah. yourself. Yeah. Uh, uh, had two older sisters. They helped me out a lot. You know, they whooped my ass enough to let me know. You know, they they love me, but don't you know tighten up. Yeah. But it would be it would be really I would say the the what made you. I would say kind of high school and college and just like the doubt and the injuries really like having knee injury after knee injury and people kind of giving up on you. Mm. And um, after I tore my ACL the second time, my sophomore year. So my freshman summer, I tore my ACL and then I tore my ACL again. My other ACL later, like right when the, right, right when the camp started, whatever. So I had two ACL tears mm. And a doctor told me, I remember his name too, I won't call him out. But a doctor told me, he was like, yeah, you know, football's not for him. Stop I it. told my mom that. Mm, that and I told, I told my mom at that point, I was like, I don't want to see him anymore. I don't want to talk to him anymore. You know? You're going to learn she, today. She was like, why? I was like, because he doesn't believe in my right, vision. Yeah. Like, I'm going to the NFL. And this is, mm. shit, this is ninth grade. What's that? 14, 15 yeah. years old? Yep. How, yep. how long are you down each injury? Um... It's funny because the first time it was like eight months. The next time I tore it, it was like six months. The next time I tore it, it was like four months. Like I almost figured out how to rehab an ACL yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So every time I tore it, I just went. And then when I – actually, I tore my ACL my last game of my senior season. I already had a full ride to Florida. And I tore my ACL my the last game of my senior season. And then people thought that they were going to pull the scholarship. But – Charlie Strong was there, and Ron Zook was at Florida. Hell it down. And they were like, they said, no, nah, you good. They were like, just, just right. rehab it, come back, you'll be good. We're going we're gonna to move your scholarship from 02 to 03 so we can bring in another freshman this year because you can't play this can't season because the, the, the time frame didn't work right. out. And I, I got to move to Gainesville. They got me an apartment. I got a job at Main Street Chevrolet cleaning cars. This is all, it was all, yeah, yeah. nah, it's like statute yeah. of limitations. Like, this shit yeah, wasn't yeah. legal, whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, I actually worked at Hooters. 
<laughs> I was a cook at Hooters too, yep, and yep. I cleaned cars at Main Street Chevrolet. Hell, I made more money then than I do now. Yeah, you can make some money. <laughs> but no, yeah. I had jo- I had jobs up there in Gainesville, and just went up there and was a, was like a really a patron of Gainesville for like five months, and then Ooh. I enrolled in in winter. But uh, but yeah, yeah. so like to to answer your question, what like what the 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 main things that created me probably was the injuries, the doubt of others that didn't think I could be what I was. And then that newspaper article in the Orlando Sentinel that called me an animal, and I said, "You know what? If wow. y'all if y'all want that, yeah. y'all got that." <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, Just that's what that's, this. that was. The and then Channing Crowder was here, and he graduated wow. from Hooters to Tootsie's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know I, mean? like, I got fired from Hooters. <laughs> a blessing. It was a blessing. I got fired from Hooters because I was the prep guy. Uh-huh. You know the guys that do the prep. Yeah, Cut chop up the chicken, the chicken, chop up the, yeah. Yeah. chop up the chicken. But that's the the early morning prep. The prep guy is the plate. So if you got like a ten a ten piece, you just get a plate and put a red uh, the little the little uh, toothpick the with toothpick, the red shit on uh, it, and that's hot. Uh, the expo, blue the expo. blue is yeah. yeah. You just put the toothpick on the plate, and then you put it up by the the, the, the fryer so and put it up by the, the grill, and they run it. So I was the prep guy, and it was a busy day, and the the manager kept yelling prep 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 prep, and he said God damn it prep, and he cussed at me. And I took off, I, and it's the, this is 1230, 12.30 in the afternoon. This is packed, motherfuckers outside. I took my Hooters hat off, and I threw it in the chicken grease. <laughs> and it melted into the chicken right grease. The and if that happened, now you got to drain the whole oh, pot. So now Ooh. there's no grease in Hooters no more. Uh-huh. So I shut down Hooters for like two hours because he kept yelling prep. And then I got fired, and I left. I got on my scooter. And rode away. All I got the Hooters job was because it was the girls in there. And of I was course. Young, yeah. Just a little bit of cash. You know, yeah, off of yeah, that. Yeah. And you ain't even getting no tips. So I see these girls getting mm-hmm. five, six hundred dollars in tips. I'm sitting back there putting motherfucking toothpicks on plates. I said, man, you kiss my ass. I'm out here. I love how you could be so comfortable in front of your wife. I'll be nervous as a bitch. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, my, my, my girl's Colombian and Venezuelan. You know what I mean? Like, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't trust her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. Yeah. So I'm gonna just elevate just my go. wife. There you go. Because I'm yeah. not speaking on your wife. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, you gotta, you gotta get you. My wife knows exactly who I am, yeah. who she married. Like mm. it, she know, like all. There's no. That's not a story I've told or anything I say that she hasn't heard already. Yeah. She sits there with the boys. We out on the back porch drinking, smoking, whatever. She's right there with us. Like, yeah. I, 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 I married me a G's. Like, yeah. yeah it's, it's not that. Sit up. Sit up in the house and oh, yeah, now yeah. Nah, she, she's I'm going like, to bed at nine o'clock and she has to guys, wake up. No, I mean, I married it. I married it. I, 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 I give my girl her props. So she's seven months pregnant. You know what I mean? I got a baby girl on the way, so I yeah. can't. I can't get that, man. But I mean, that's what she's got. Out. The jealous tactics in there. You know what I mean? She's got the habits. You know, I, I we're watching like Parent Trap or some shit. I'm like, oh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I used to have such a crush on her. The whole movie. You know, ruined the whole movie. <laughs> Look, she hot with you. The whole time, I this this how I first learned this jealousy issue. You know what I mean? And I'm like, the movie's over. She, are, you like it? But what do you like about her? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, time out. What happened? See, what you, what you got to do is yeah, it was like a three day thing, and I had to find out that it was a problem. Got to set it up early. Mm-hmm. My wife knows who is it? Uh, Alicia Keys. Mm-hmm. I was I was boy when I was young. This the, is the hall fire. pass. Hey, boy, yeah. I had me Alicia thing. Keys. But also, what you got to do is you got to find her crushes, and then oh, okay, you. Okay. So then I almost say her crush because I know she's a Jason Momoa guy. Oh, and that's a big <laughs> fire. I think they ass. all are, man. Oh. I think they all. <laughs> Who's Listen, Jason? Like, and this, <laughs> this is some man shit we about to say. Here we go. That's a big fine motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> as that's a heterosexual, that's some Listen, no, but, bro, but, you, but you know as what? a heterosexual you know father yeah. of three, Channing Crowder got the go. moments. You know what I mean? He said Saquon Barkley's thighs. Eyes are fine. <laughs> that boy Denzel Ward. Have you ever looked Denzel Ward in the nah. eyes? The corner from the Browns. Look <laughs> no, him in his eyes. I won't now. Look nah, him in his now. eyes. <laughs> Your ass gonna tighten up. You gonna be like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Denzel! <laughs> Bro, I think as a as, as a strong as a Yo. strong man, if you can't look at another man and be like, "That's a fine motherfucker," like that, you know what's something to that? Bro. That's confidence, no, man. But- 
Let's be honest, bro. Somebody <laughs> like a, a Jason B- Samoa, Momoa, whatever. I ain't, I, Aquaman. You Aquaman, lying to yeah, yourself. Yeah, Aquaman. You can Aquaman, say Aquaman. Aquaman sound way cooler. So, yeah. yeah. If you sit here and tell me that he's not a good looking man, you lying to yourself. Get your ass now you look here. really insecure versus just being like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He's a good looking man. You know what I mean? Just be honest. Just be fucking honest. Because if not, you look way worse lying no, to Fred everybody. is pissed right now. We're going down the road. Fred, I know Fred, right Fred's watching the show. Like, yeah, we're not gonna do this for too long, but. Crazy yeah. rabbit hole. You don't like that. Like, Come on. I, 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 but, but, but no, bro, as a man, like, this, is, <laughs> this is some life lesson type shit. Why can a man not say, like, not. I'm not saying you run up on Jason Moore and be like, shit, you fine as fuck, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, but yeah, just yeah. like look at another man, look that he kept himself together, look that he dresses nice, look that he keeps his shit together, and be like, bro, that is a well put together human being. That's totally mm-hmm. different yeah, from yeah. saying that's a fine ass man. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, that's a fine ass man. Bro, Aquaman. I think that's the problem. I think that's <laughs> totally that different. Bro, Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen Aquaman? I've seen the movie. <laughs> I have seen the movie. You seen when he was swimming and flipping the boats over <laughs> for the whole two hours? I didn't watch it. Not once did I be like, "Damn, that's a fire!" I said, "Man, we back and met his daddy at the dock." <laughs> I, w- I wish Fresh I was like, "Cut the string, cut the string." <laughs> damn. damn, I wish I was on that dock. No. Oh, <laughs> Man, could I get a room in that lighthouse? <laughs> <laughs> but see, everything is there for oh, you to be shit. able to say that because you you married, you got the kids, you got yeah. the, you know what I'm saying. Oh, you could say that. See, I ain't got no kids. I ain't married. So if I fuck around and say some shit like that as a public statement, oh, you know where you live? They're gonna be like, for oh, yeah. they're gonna be at the gym. Digger, man. They're gonna walk what? in the sauna <laughs> and be like, Kato, Kato, come get it, Momoa, yeah, Kato, Momoa, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> You know what I mean? Cause yeah, yo, you know, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Listen, My girl Greg. likes Romeo Santos, so every time she starts with me, I'm like, ding, 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 if, Ladies and gentlemen, if you see me in your local LA fitness, if I ever hear you hit that bachata beat beatbox boom, 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 I, it's a problem, okay? Why is it a problem? What happened? Don't ever come up to me with some bachata music in your mind and tell me how good I look. And we in the sauna. What's going on here? What, what's it? I'm being honest. This happened in the sauna? No. Somebody oh, okay. We're going to yeah, prevent yeah, it yeah, from yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, no, because yeah, yeah. you said... No, there is a lot if you of... Walk, yeah. Somebody walk up to you in the sauna and hit you with... Boom, boom, boom. Because... <laughs> I be almost feeling like uncomfortable. Like, can you call them gays even? Or does it, does it start... A, no, I'm not... Because... No, I, look, no, I'm just just listening to what I'm saying. Like, you talking to sauna? Okay, <laughs> you're not allowed to talk in the sauna. No, 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 no. I'm not hey, saying. Not that. Not I'm not saying I almost feel like I'll get attacked if I said the gays are very um, relentless when they want to shoot, shoot their shot. Like, okay, I'll say this. Yeah, they women always come at men mm. that go a little too hard when they're being aggressive in harassment. Men should be able to do the same shit to the gay guys if you're straight. You know what I mean? Because gay guys, they they're like the, the 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 sexual harassment guys. You know what I mean? Like when they want to be, okay? Um, they 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 tend to take it a little too far. You know what I mean? Like if you say you're straight, it's almost like if you offended them. No, oh, you, you're talking here. about getting shot at by a gay. You, yeah, like if you tell them, yeah, if you, you tell them to chill the fuck out. Yeah, it's like that. You know what I mean? They look at you like the, the shitting guy. The guy that was shitting in the jail. Yeah, you look at I mean? you crazy. Yeah, like yeah, I man. You just, you just, you let them know. Be like, no, oh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's what I'm just, saying. There you but go. they do get upset. I don't know. I, yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's like the women, because I've been on the other side of shooting at women. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then when you get me shot too, at, too. it is, it is. Point, I'll yeah. be honest with you, brother. It is surprising when you get shot at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But then you have to put yourself on the other side because you shoot at women, and what do women say? I'm fine. I have a boyfriend. Mm. Right. I'm good. <laughs> so when the man shoots at you, then you say, I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah. I'm yeah. good, brother. You know, yeah, but, yeah. My, wife, my, my wife's at the Dillard's, you know. So am I, am I crazy I'll for thinking my, it? My wife doesn't go to am I, Dillard's. Am I, am I, yeah. <laughs> no, sacks and shit there. Am I crazy for saying it, though? Am I wrong? Like, gay dudes be a little bit aggressive. Oh, have you ever been to Lennox Mall in Atlanta? No. No. Nah. I refuse. So I don't Lennox know. Mall, they go at you because they call me Red. Cat call. Oh, no. They'll cat call cat you. Cat call. Hey, They'll Red. cat call. And it's surprising. It's surprising early on, like, once you get it. And it's like, hey, Red. And you hear, hey, Red. Hey, Red. And you look back and you see the table of uh, men and you're like, oh, they're talking to me. It's surprising. <laughs> right. But then, like I said earlier, I know I'm fine. Uh, so if somebody's see. attracted to a man... 
and I know I'm a fine man, I know they're going to be attracted to right. me. So it's not with. surprising anymore. Like, For think sure. about That's that. Real. So, think That's about real. it. So, if you see a, a table of women, do you expect them to look at you when you walk past? In my head, yes. Do y'all expect yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, see, you, 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 see, yeah. you see five, six, ten women sitting down by themselves. You walk past, they, they, you would expect them to look at you because you Listen, are here's confident. Listen, the difference. Right. Time, out, man, time out, right? time out, time right. out. All right, I'm Nick Saban right now. Time out. Mm-hmm. It's the difference between you and I, right? You feel comfortable in front of your wife. I'm nervous with this conversation. I'm like, really? Yeah, because yeah. you're sitting there saying, you walk in front of a table of five women or, or women, and, and they you say expect them to look at I'm, you. I'm waiting for the door to open up. Like you, you are waiting for. Oh, them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so, so this conversation, just so but you know, I'll be sitting here like, okay, you know what I mean? If you, if you are a good-looking man, and I would say like ourselves, if mm-hmm. anybody's attracted to men, then yeah. they should be. They will be attracted to you, and it to should you. be flattering. And I've been, I've already been, I've been hit about this opinion before. They're yeah, like, oh, I didn't want to call you all the, you know, call you gay and all. I'm like, I am 100% heterosexual. But right. if somebody's attracted to a man, I would expect him to be attracted to me because I'm a big, I'm fine a, motherfucker. Yeah, like God damn it, you better fucking look at look me. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it's, right. so, it's right. so funny. If you are, if, if right. any, if, if goats were attracted to male, male humans, Every goat in the world would want to be with me. <laughs> I, t- I get what he's saying, though. No, yeah, no. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. if I, if I am, if I, if I am the, if I am the, 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 the win, uh-huh. a catch. If I'm the catch, if I'm the prize, anybody that wants to get a man would want to get me. Because I'm fine as fuck. <laughs> That's real. I'm 6'3", 250. I'm muscular. I'm, I'm articulate. I'm uh. intelligent. Like, <laughs> bitch, if I like uh. men, I would like me. Right. He's, if I was a, if yeah. I liked a man, I, I would want said. me. Like I would marry my twin if I liked men because <laughs> yeah. of why the fuck who I am. Yeah. Like I, I don't. I, I, it's funny that people don't understand that. I is, understand. Is this why you love him? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you said, you she saw, ran you said, from yeah, it. She yeah, ran yeah. from it the first time. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it, and we it, said, hey, hey, you ran from a linebacker. Yeah, yeah good luck. <laughs> you know what I mean? You weren't good getting luck. too yes. far. You know I, 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 was, okay. I was gonna get her. I had to. I had to mow her grandparents' lawn to get a date. I really? Like that. That's what's up. That's, like that's that. classy yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Dope. that's smart. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Hey, don't worry about the hedges. I I throw that in there. I got. I will. Wait, how did that? Hey, you see her? Hey, Asia. <laughs> All right, yeah. Take us back. Take us back. Met her, met her at a um, what was that? The Notor- remember Notor- Notorious, the movie, Biggie Small yep. movie. Mm-hmm. Yep. There was a uh, movie release at down on South Beach at the movie theater on Lincoln. So my buddy Aiken Adele, he was like, "Hey, come with me," and I'm like, "I didn't want to go." It was like January 9th. Like it was the season just started. I'm uh-huh. now I'm partying, fucking off. Like the season just ended. Now I'm running. He's like, come to this movie for me. I'm like, move it for me, man. Kiss my ass. Season always ended for the Miami Dolphins around that time. Yeah, Don't do that. Year. Don't do that. Not this year. <laughs> not, <maybe. laughs> no, we didn't got it right. But I back then, bro. Back. back then, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 December twenty fifth. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna enjoy always the fuck, fuck out of New Year's. Let's go. Y'all coming down here Christmas? Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah, we about to be done. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, without meta there. Um, actually, she didn't even want to sit by me because my homeboy, there was an like open seat next to him, and I kept telling her to sit by me. She was like, no, she's not. So she went, sat by her friend and sat on the stairs. So it was an open seat next to me. Mm. She didn't even, she wouldn't even sit next yeah. to me. She sat on a, a, a stair next to her friend other than sit next to me. She went down to leave, and this is how you try it. I teach, I teach anybody listening to some game. Come on. I told, I was like, uh, hey, can you grab me a drink? And she was like, what? I was like, can you grab me a drink? And I went to give her $20. Like, hey, can you, can you get me a drink? And that test, like a strong woman, <laughs> if you give a woman money and she grabs it automatically, you know, mm, like, yeah. you can't, yeah. That's she, what she do. That's what she, she wants the 20 She works so at I went, Yeah, she wants that bread. So <laughs> I was like, hey, can you grab me a drink? Because you're going downstairs already. I'm fine. Because she wouldn't even take the money. Because now I tried her by trying yeah, to give her money. Because yeah. I can buy a Coke, motherfucker. It's like yeah. what her thought process was. So she brings me back up. I think I got a slushy, a red slushy. She brings back up a slushy. 
So then even that, taking my slush, giving my slushing, she goes back, sits by a friend. After the movie theater, so I'm waiting for it now. So everybody's walking out and all. And it was a bunch of famous motherfuckers. It was like Kelly Rowland and all that. Yeah, movie the fat, y'all remember the Fat Boys? Yeah, that, for the, especially for the B.I.G. movie. The Fat Boys. Uh, I don't know who the Fat Boys is. You don't know who the Fat Boys is? Um, Delirious, Prince Marky D. Marky D yeah, and all. He yeah, yeah. he emceed it. It yeah. was like, it was some famous people in there. So we're walking out. So now the camp, the um, the news station was there, and I was actively playing. I was start, start middle linebacker for Dolphins that time. And she, and my wife, didn't even know. And so, so I wait for her to come across to uh, where she was sitting. So I wait for her at the bottom of the stairs, whatever. She comes across. So now I'm shooting. Hey, what you doing? What's your name? Blah, 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 blah. I'm shooting, shooting, shooting my game. Yep. We walk outside. The news gets me. So as soon as I walk out, the news, the news station gets me on camera. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, can you tell us about the movie? <sighs> So now she hauls ass. <laughs> now she really don't know to do me. Because now she's like, oh, this yeah, he plays ball. He ain't worth a damn. We go to Lucky Strikes down there, right the wow. the, the bowling, bowling alley down there. This is, where I, this is where I think I got my end, was that we go in there and we get a little section. So we get down there early. We get a section, and then the movie theater, I mean the um, bowling alley fills up. So there's no seats, there's no alleys, there's no nothing. So it's just me and my buddy sitting in the section. And then her and three of her homegirls walk in, four homegirls walk in. And they're sitting by the bar and they can't get no seat. Yeah, Uncomfortable. Yeah. So that's when I snuck up. And my line was, I was like, hey, y'all got asses, we got chairs. If y'all want to come sit in our section, you good to go. Go over there, uh. sit down. And that's when I got the number. Calling her, talking to her, trying to get her. All this time, end up going and taking her to dinner a couple of times. She still wasn't fucking with me like that. But the the front yard of her her grandparents' house was always immaculate. It was always immaculate, well edged, bushes edged, everything was immaculate. And so by the third time I went over there, I I pull up and I'm like, and she was in Opalaka. And a lot of dudes don't want to go to Opalaka. Oh, yeah, 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 scared yeah. of Opalaka. I go to Opalaka. Yeah. I, I got people know I was in Opalaka the other day. To get some mangoes and that damn Tehran. What's that called? Tehran? Tehran? Tahin? The little the little, the little, the little, the little spice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got yeah. the mangoes Tahin. and Tahin. Yeah. You a, you a, you an adopted <laughs> Florida boy. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. hundred percent. My wife introduced me that mangoes and Tahin. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we go over there and the yard was kind of big. The bushes was messed up. And so we go to dinner and I'm like, man, what's up with the yard? She was like, daddy, her grandfather, he was like, he's, he's down in his back. And she really wasn't fuck with me. She was like, she was just getting free meals at this point. No interest. The courting phase. Yeah. yeah, she was just getting free meals. And she was like, yeah, daddy, this is the, this is the dog. I can say the, seat, the end of the season, the, this is probably February, <coughs> early February. And so then my ass, I had a house. I didn't even do my own yard. <laughs> I had a lawn man. Like, I'm not yeah. cutting my lawn. Like, I'm, I'm paying for the dog. I'm making money. Like, I, I had a lawn man. I went, so we went out, let's say it was Friday, Saturday night. So we went out Friday night, went and dropped it back off. Saturday morning, I got up. I went to Home Depot. I bought a lawnmower. I bought <laughs> an edger. <laughs> I, I bought all this shit. For one use. And I went to her house, and she, was, she wasn't there. And I just started cutting the yard and edging the yard. Mm -hmm. And then her grandma called her and said, that dolphin boy over here cutting the lawn. <laughs> yeah. He's a good boy. I He's like, a good yeah, boy. I like him. And I like that, him. that's how I got in. So that was that was if I if I didn't go buy that damn lawnmower in that edge, <laughs> little Chan, Ava, Chaz, our three kids, uh, our wouldn't be here. thirteen year marriage wouldn't be here. If she and uh, they all got here, courtesy of a lawnmower from Home Depot. A lawnmower from Home Depot. Lawnmower <laughs> edge. Yep, that's tough. My man. son's here. My son's here from an iPhone. That ass. I that, text. That I text my girl, and she she the, the, when I first met her, and we you know we exchanged phone numbers. I text her green. And she was like, ew. <laughs> Out the gate. Yeah, and she, was like, she was like, you text green. And I went to AT&T that moment. And I was like, let me get an iPhone. Yeah. And I text her. And I was yeah. like, is this better? Got her. And then she was like, for real? And then yeah. I fucking sent her a video from my other phone <laughs> throwing the fucking uh, iPhone in the trash with an Apple signal on top of it. Because I took the sticker that they gave me with the Apple box and I threw it on top of my trash. So I had the Apple trash can. And I just threw it back. Fucking and I was, like, this, I was like, just so you know, this phone is trash. <laughs> I threw it threw it away and then... Well, I work, I work harder than you. got two babies. Yeah, I work yeah, harder yeah, than you. Grass you earned that one. He ain't <laughs> cut the grass or nothing. Listen, one of, the oldest nah, tricks, nah. one of the oldest tricks in the book, if you're courting a woman, if you're serious about a woman... 
you get in good with her mother, of course her father, because that's always hard to earn. You got to kind of work. You got to earn that way. You got to get in there first. But if you get mom or grandma on your side, oh, yeah. she will vouch for you to the end of the earth. When you come with her to her, like, I don't know what I should do. I think I like him. Da, da, da. But I'm going to say, he's a good boy. Yeah, yeah. My girl will tell you right now. Her mom likes me more than she likes her. Shit. <laughs> I'm yeah. there, man. I'm yeah. there. Her, my wife was raised by her, her. Her mother's a great person, but she stayed with her grandparents a lot. Yeah. And her grandmother loved me. She passed about like 10 okay. years ago. Okay. Rest in peace to grand. Yeah. yeah. Grandma. And her, grand, her, grand, her grandfather pulled a pistol on me. Oh, oh, we ain't that story. He passed about twelve years, man. Old, what you OG. doing in my lawn, man? <laughs> this an old, yeah. old, old, no, old military nigga. So yeah, yeah. yeah, he ain't fucking off. Once he saw me come to the house, come to the house, come to the house, then I cut this nigga's lawn. So he's like, you know, you know, you, you know, old, 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 right, right, you know, boy. you know, old niggas, old yeah. niggas, they, they find any way to get mad. Man, what this fuck ass nigga cut my lawn? Yeah. <laughs> but so he called me to the side of the house one day. He's a liar. His name ain't Channing. And he had he had an old <laughs> ass thirty eight. I actually had after oh, he passed. Shit. One of my things to my wife, I was like, I want your grandfather's guns. Because he had a bunch. He was a military dude. He had a bunch yeah. of these old-ass guns. I was like, I want your grandfather's guns. I got them mm-hmm. framed and stuff at the house. And the the revolver he had, I got it framed because that was like, that was his way of saying like, you know. Listen here. You know. <laughs> and he called it. My, yeah. my wife's name's Asia. And he called her my angel. Like he said, he, he a country nigga from Georgia. Twin City, Georgia. He said angel. But it sounds like angel. Yeah. So he like everybody thought he was yeah. saying my angel. So he would always say, like, you know, hey, hey, CC, you know, don't, don't, don't fuck with my angel. And stuff uh, like that. And he brought me to the side of the house. And we started, you know, getting getting yeah, he knew we were we were serious. Yeah. And called me to the side of the house over there by the garbage cans, Saturday, middle of the day, and they had a 38 sitting on the table. <laughs> 38 special. And he 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 said, he said, CC. Come over here. And I come out the house, come sit down. I'm like, what's up? What's up, daddy? And he just he just stares at the pistol. Yeah. He says, I love my angel. Mm-hmm. I love my angel. That's classy, though. It was just like, That's it was classy, just that, that check, that little check. I'm, like I ain't saying nothing, but I'm letting you know that I'm going to shoot your I'm big love. ass. <laughs> <laughs> In if so you, many words. I'm going to shoot your big <laughs> ass if you fuck with my baby. And I respect it. And so then when I decided to ask my wife to marry to marry her, went over and every I knew every Saturday he went to Walmart. So I went over on Saturday and I uh I told him I was, I was like, "Hey daddy, I want to I'll take you to Walmart today." And so then and there was there was some OG some of the real shit and I tell people this to this day when they, you know, recently dudes told me they about to get married, and I tell them the same thing. Mm-hmm. Go to Walmart, get all the shit, come home. We about to take a left on uh on 22nd. And I was like, hey, daddy, I want to um, I want to ask you first for permission to ask Asia to marry me. Respect. And he looked at the ground. He looked over at me. I was driving. He looked back at the ground. And he said, it's a bumpy road. Because he's been married for 60 years. Mm. So he wasn't, like, all excited, like, oh, he you know. He went straight to it. He went straight to it. He, he, said, it, it he said, it's a bumpy road. Are you ready to ride it? I said, yeah, man, I'm, 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 I'm going to do it. You know, I want to marry Asia. He said, well, you got my blessing, but it's a bumpy road. He said it again. Mm-hmm. And then, and I tell people this to this day, probably an hour later or whatever. So now it's processing too. And he asked me, he was like, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Mm, hello. Wisdom. <laughs> and if you think about marriage now, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? And I was like, and I didn't at the time. Yeah, you a gem. At the yeah. time, I was like, I was like, yeah, I want to be happy. You know, I want to make Asia happy. Like now, I'm trying to tend to the mother. I'm trying yeah, to make yeah. him happy. You know, I just need the yes. Dude. Yeah, I just want you to say yes, and I can marry the ring. Pops like, yeah, the ring. <laughs> you see that big motherfucker on her wrist? Yeah, hello. <laughs> she can't even pull her left hand up. She, her, now left, I gotta look. her left shoulder, her left shoulder, bigger than the right shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bigger, bigger than the laptop. But, Hold on. but I, I didn't know what that meant until years mm. in the marriage. Do you want to be right? Because if you want to be right, if you want to prove that your the shit you say is right and that you're correct and that your so, what you say is the correct way of doing you know, life, something that come with that, you're not gonna be happy. Mm-hmm. So do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? And that's the advice I give to everybody that gets married now. You want to get married? And I said, I'd be like, hey, man, I'm, 
I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask jo- Jolene to marry me. I'll be like, bro, congratulations. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? <laughs> and if that motherfucker say right, I say, bro, don't give her that goddamn ring. I want to be right. Is getting... <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Stop that, bro. Don't give her that goddamn yeah, ring, yeah, bro. I ain't buy it yet. You gotta, 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 gotta yeah, just yeah, be yeah, happy. Yeah. But be happy. I, I love, I love moments like that. Don't worry. Especially with older folks, and that's why I appreciate old, chilling with. Old, what do y'all got to do, especially all y'all young cats out there? Hang with some older folks. You're going to pick up game like that. Mm-hmm. Stuff you don't read really in a book. Stuff you don't just get on your own. Stuff that somebody got to hand to you. Like, listen, bro, check this out. See it through my lens. Because he heard what you said, but he went straight to it. All mm-hmm. right, check this out. Do you want to be happy or you want to be right? You know, are you ready to do this? Are you okay? You got my blessing. Yeah. You know, but it sounds like you earned that too, though. Sounds like you put you did your due diligence. Obviously, he knew about you, who you are, and where you were headed, the whole trajectory and everything. Obviously, he knows his his family. Now, now this is this is ritual. <laughs> uh, you know, what I'm saying she doesn't have a knife. Mike, what's up? We're okay. Hey. We're safe. Junior, we are safe. Right, but, love babies now. Yeah, what's but up? but this is my little guy right here. What's up, Papa? <laughs> he does fist bumps to everybody. So he's got OG gonna triple you know OG. What, I mean? what up, Jew? You good, baby? Yeah, you see, you see the, the, there's a baby in there. You see it? Oh, yeah. You that works. my daughter right there. You working. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, yeah. That's cute. Thank you, sir. This, this ritual it has to happen at all times. Junior. Yeah. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Hey, look at that. Oh. I was worried. Oh. I'm like, is she going to stab me? Because we're talking about, you know. 